Hi. I just wanted to go ahead and talk to you. It's 1.52 a.m. Do you like my mouth when I do this? Hey, this is how you smile. I don't know how to do the kissy thing. I mean, yeah. I can't do it. Mm -mm, not that coordinated. <laughs> I can't do it. Okay. So, <laughs> oh, I wanted to wear this shirt for you. Because I haven't worn this shirt in a well. I'm just getting a little too excited there. No, okay, so I haven't worn this shirt in a while. And I decided that I would wear it for you. So I'll show you. So you can see. Okay, so, now that I'm done being an idiot, um, I actually think that I've lost weight, because, like, whenever I wore the shirt last time, mm -mm -mm, if you know what I'm saying, because I was looking at some pictures from whenever you came here, I went to the aquarium, and, <clears throat> no, but, anyway, so, oh, yes, I do need to paint my fingernails, I got that fingernail polish, haven't used it yet. I wonder what color. Hmm. Hmm. Silver and. Silver and orange or silver and, and blue. Maybe orange. Probably orange. Uh, I don't know. Okay, anyway. Okay, so. Um, I just wanted to tell you that. I just got in watching um, Shay Carl, the videos on there. It's about him and his family, and like he has four kids, and blah, 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 blah. It's really cute. And it just like reminded me, like made me think about whenever we're together. And this, I don't, I know that you don't like really like me talking about the future and stuff. So I'm gonna tell you it in a video. So now you can just push pause or push the back button or push another video. So you don't have to watch it. Ah, la, 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 la. Okay, so it was really cute because <clears throat> like it made me think about he was pushing his kids on the swing set. I was like, oh. I want a swing set. I want a big wooden like swing set, like in the backyard for the kitties, because like I want to just like push them and stuff, and they'll be able to play in there. And then like it could be attached to like a little treehouse or something. Like it'd be right next to the treehouse, and like on this tree on the swing set, like I want there to be like a little covered area so they like whenever they want to play like pee pee or you know play dress up or whatever they're gonna do outside, play Girl Scouts. Um, they can go under the covered part and, you know, have fun. So, anyway, I want to swing set. I think it'll be really cute. Like, I can't go out, wait to go outside and, like, push little kitties in the swing. And then, I don't know. I think that'll be fun. And I'm really excited to, like, go hiking and go camping and, like, just do those things with the kids. Because I think that'll be, I don't know, I, I'm... I know that it's, like, so early to, like, even start really thinking about that stuff, but I'm a girl. I can't, can't really help it. It's just what I do, so, <laughs> yeah. But, okay, so, no, really, that's what girls do, no matter what they say. <laughs> they think about it. So, anyway, um, no, like, I just want to, like, I was just thinking about, I just want to be, like, the best mom I can be, you know, because I had some parenting problems in my growing up experiences so I want to you know the best I can like make dinner and you know whenever even like I was in the car today and I was realizing how negative my mom is like half the things more than half the things that come out of her mouth is negative and like I think that really shows what a person's like on the inside which sounds really bad I love my mom love her to death love you mom but I think she's uh, unhappy She's gotten better. She has gotten better because since this guy named Tom's been in her life, she's gotten better. Not my space Tom either. Okay, so. <clears throat> anyway, but. <sighs> I want to, like, be positive and, like, let my kids talk. But, like, you know, whenever I'm, we're in the car and there's a song on and 
I like the song, but, you know, the kids always should come first, you know, but I want to really teach them how to be respectful and, like, respectful to the elders, especially to us, and, like, but at the same time, like, let, sh like, let them know that they can come to us to anything, but, like, still be like, okay, do this, and do this, and do this, like, you know, if you do this, you'll get consequence, there will consequences will be this. That's another thing, like, like, whenever I have kids, I want the consequences to be, like, set consequences, you know? Like, I don't want it to be wishy-washy, because that's what it was like whenever I was growing up, and, I mean, my mom would ground me one minute and be like, okay, you're ungrounded an hour later, and I just don't think that's right. Like, you, parents should have a plan and stick to it, and if a kid is supposed to be grounded for a week, then a kid is grounded for a week. If a kid's supposed to be grounded for a month, if they did something that bad, then they should be grounded for a month, and, like, it should be stuck, like... Like, maybe have rewards, like, you know, if you do this, or if you, you know, like, grades. Ugh, that's a bad, that's a bad example. I, I have mixed feeling on grades. But, um, anyway. So, like, if they do something wrong, like, don't come home, or, like, I, I don't know. Anyway. Like, have set consequences for those things, because... I don't know. I just think that it's fair, and... That's just what people should do. So, anyway. Okay, I'm rambling. Um, I don't know. I'm just really excited for us to, like, start our family. I mean, that's a long ways away, of course. But I just think it's going to be so much fun. And I think that we're really going to, like, have some of the best kids in the world. And we're going to know it. And, like, our children are going to be the just best children that ever existed. Besides us, of course. Besides us. Um, but, no, seriously. Our kids will be the best. I also don't want to do like one of those things where like p kids are really pushy. Our parents are really pushy on their kids. Like, have you ever seen that Stars show where like these parents like push their kids to be actors and actresses? Like, not really wanting to go to Hollywood. But you know, if they want to do that, then you know, I'll, I want to do whatever I can to make them happy, but like within reason. Another thing, like, that I've really been thinking about is, like, I really want, like, a God-centered family, and I know that I discussed that with you before, but honestly, like, like, the longest relationships I've seen work out have been the ones that had God in their relationship, or, you know, whenever you go to churches, a lot of times that, where the church is where you'll see families and, um, couples that have been together for years and years and years, and, like, they're old and still together, like, helping each other through the door, but no, and I... They're still so cute. They're opening the door for each other. And, oh, man, I can't wait to go grocery shopping when we're old. I love old people going grocery shopping. I think it's so cute. But, anyway. And, um, anyway, I don't know what else. I just really can't wait to start a family and everything. But I was watching, you know, like I said, I was watching the Shade Tards video. And... They are like, they don't have any debt at all. And then, like, they finally decide they want to have another kid. And that's how I want to be, like, so financially sound and, like, know that I'll, we'll be able to pro provide for our children and, like, we won't be in need. I mean, everyone has their problems, but I don't want to be in need, if you know what I mean. I don't want to have to get WIC and food stamps and everything else. Because when you're at the grocery store, that's a pain in the butt. Not only that, I just don't want to be on that. Anyway, um, I'm getting close to my time. I vote. Oh, this is going to take so long to upload on the computer. <sighs> it takes, like, okay, so I'll record, like, eight minutes of video, and it takes, like, two hours to upload onto YouTube. So frustrating. That's okay. That's okay. Anything for you. Anything for you. Love you. Okay. I will talk to you soon. Probably later today. Oh, it is June 28th at 2.02 a.m. Forgot to tell you that. So, anyway, that's that. I don't still don't know whenever I'm going to give this to you. I did tell you that I have a surprise for you, and this is the surprise, but you be, could be waiting a while. Okay, I have to go. I have to stop talking. So coughing. Okay, I love you. I'm very much... You're my world, and I can't wait to be with you forever. Okay, bye. Bye, sweetie.